Hi, I wanted to give a quick update on my Rock Pals 500 and a solution that I came up with uh, for when the voltage overload or the overdraw protection kicks in and prevents the Alpacool refrigerator from working. So right now I have the Alpacool refrigerator unplugged and we can see that my battery percentage is about 45%, 46%. I'm going to plug in my refrigerator and it's at 21 degrees and as soon as the compressor starts or tries to kick in it says hey we're gonna not allow the fridge to run right now and so what i've done is i went on amazon and picked up this it's a little bit kind of homemade looking right now but i think i might actually put it in line with my fridge but it accepts an 8 to 40 volt input and it puts out a pretty consistent 12 volts so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to shut this off for a second and i'll hook it up and uh show you guys how it works okay i've got everything hooked up i've got the power cable hooked into the alpacool refrigerator hooked into this jack, going into the voltage regulator, and then into my rock pals. I have the DC outlet turned on, and since it's all hooked up, all I have to do is hit the power button to show now that I have 12.2 volts. So the rock pals at 45%, and the optical refrigerator is reading 12.2 volts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trigger the compressor When that kicks in, you can kind of see the voltage dropping. Drop down to about 11 volts, maybe about 10.7. And you can kind of see that the power is drawing from the rock pals by the lowering of the percentage there. So the interesting thing is I haven't really felt, I mean, this is just maybe a little warm. And so what I think I'm gonna do is simply remove this jack right here. When I remove this jack, I can then just directly wire this system in here. There is a fuse in the end here and I may keep this fuse right here um, as I get that wired up. So again, this voltage regulator from Amazon, I think it was about 30 bucks. I am curious to see how this holds up in the long run and maybe I'll make another video as I get it put together in a better package. So one thing I wanted to try was to see what the voltage drop is if I put the Alpacool on echo mode, which I've already done. And I'm gonna just drop this down again and cycle that compressor. Startup wattage. So it's still creeping up there. I think about 47 is the max that it pulls in echo mode. Or 48, but it hovers around there. And the voltage, again, hovering around 11 volts. Although I know the voltage inside of the Rock Pal 500 is not um, that high. So I am curious to see how low the battery will go with this setup. So what I'm going to do now is just let this run overnight. Hopefully in the morning I can come in here and check it and see how it goes. I may actually top it off a little bit to ensure that it is still running in the early hours of the morning in case I missed the shutoff point. So I've hooked up this little mini heater that I have uh, maybe for emergency use. And you can see with the refrigerator uh, cycling, the compressor, let me just make sure the compressor's on. Yeah, the compressor's on right now. I can't feel because the heat is moving. It's total in total drawing 255 watts. 
And the reason I'm doing this is just to show that, hey, we know that as this stuff's all hooked up, the voltage on the refrigerator um, should change if I'm drawing this load right here from the rock pals because it's drawing from the rock pals as well. And it does fluctuate a little bit, but it looks like this voltage regulator is actually doing a pretty decent job of keeping the voltage steady enough to run the refrigerator. So here I have just the heater running. I'm gonna go ahead and plug, I'm gonna shut this off and take the Alpacool and plug it directly into the Rock Pals just to show what the Rock Pal sees voltage wise now. So again, it's down to 10.3 with this load. And as I was saying, if I shut this off, it should go up a little, just a little. I guess the battery is getting pretty depleted right now. And again, I'm going to take this uh, voltage. Really, it's a converter, not necessarily a regulator, and plug it back in. Plug the Alpacool back in and then turn that back on. Again, the compressor is not currently running, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that down. Get that going. Not too bad. So I think the Rock Pals 500, I don't uh, think it's for sale anymore, but it actually has held up pretty good. I've had it for about 18 months now. I honestly haven't had any issues with it, except for maybe once or twice as the fridge was hooked up. This is pretty much the primary use is to keep this fridge going when I'm out traveling. The, the cable here actually becomes disconnected it jiggles loose, just like it did there. I barely touched it. Jiggled loose. I just plugged it back in with my fingers there. And sometimes, you know, I'll come back a couple of hours later and say, oh no, my fridge has been disconnected. But luckily the fridge, I mean, it doesn't look like it's super insulated. It doesn't really lose heat that much. And as you can see, it's got a few dings over the year and a half that I've had it. And I guess it's some kind of ferrous material under the paint here. I always thought this was aluminum, but you see it gets dented and dinged. And maybe if I want to permanently mount this here, I, I know it's kind of hollow on the other side of this panel here. I might be able to just mount this here, directly wire it to that cable, and then snake the longer cable back to where I keep the rock pals hooked up in my uh, van. So what else? I think, I think that this item, I don't know package wise where they would fit it inside, but I think it wouldn't be too difficult to add some kind of converter like this, a reliable one into the rock pals, maybe in a future generation. I know, uh, Jackery actually has something like this built in. I don't, I've never done any testing with the voltage, but I assume it hits the right voltage, if not even something like 13 volts. I think these items should come with this built in, especially if we're going to rely on this 12 volt outlet and not just rely on the lithium ion battery, which changes voltages as it goes down in power. So one thing about this converter is I know that, for example, they're usually between 90 and 95% efficient. So if I'm looking at, you know, about 50, let's just say 40 to 60 watts, then I'm losing, what, 2 to 10 watts, like max, with this running. But if this brings my battery, allows me to consume more of the battery in here, uh, in between charges or when my solar, for example, at night on a hot summer day when my solar's not running, 
then I think it's, it outweighs the cost of the inefficiency of this little converter. But as you can see right now, the refrigerator is on and you know, I'm showing zero watts. Now that could be like 0 0.9. I don't know how this thing, if it has to hit one or, or what, but it's not consuming much in its current state. And I don't think when it's running, it consumes much more power than in its uh, as designed setup with just the power cable. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching this video. Be sure if you have any questions to leave a comment below. And if you have any ideas for a test with the setup or maybe with the solar panels, leave that below as well.